Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV. Uh, it is about 11.34 in the evening. Samantha's behind me getting some shipments done. We're working overtime right now because we're about to shut down for a few days so that we can start preparing to get some inventory ready for our new building. After a long waited time, we finally have the contractors back in line. A lot of things stopped because of the COVID issue. A lot of contractors just weren't allowed to go back to work. Uh, so now our nine acre facility is back on track. Our building obviously is complete. We just need to get the build out done. So we're getting ready to count our inventory. So uh, not that this is part of this video, but I will tell you ahead of time that uh, it is now what? The, the uh, October 9th. So from October 10th, uh, we will not be shipping out after tomorrow morning. We will not ship out again another order until um, Thursday, which means you're gonna have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, there will be no shipments going out because we're gonna be moving inventory and just counting inventory. So sorry, but that's just the way it's going to be so we can get done with this thing once and for all. All right, that being said, I am sitting here right now looking at this, and I will show you. This is a quad from HGLRC. This is another RMA. I'm taking it out of the box because I just don't care about cutting the box open right now. You just have to trust me. So this thing is burnt to a, well, there you go. It's burnt to a crisp. Okay, look at this. I mean, like, just get a good look at, when I say burned, look how mangled this thing is, okay? All right, look at that. How pretty. Everything's burned. I mean, burned, melted, crapped out. All right, look. So here's the deal. Okay. Let me get that screen back to normal. So, so the deal is this. I get, I, am, I totally understand when people say, man, I didn't do anything. I just plugged in my battery and caught on fire. God, that is, that is a great story. I love it. I love it. All right, and, and you know what? Most of the time I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever, whatever. But, 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 look, here's the deal, okay? When you fly a quad, you fly it, right? I mean, you fly it. And you crash and you do whatever. And then you plug in a, a LiPo and your quad catches on fire. You don't really get to blame the quad all that much. All right, now... If you ever just buy one brand new, brand new out of the box, you plug that sucker in and it catches on fire, take that shit, put it back in the box, send it back to the people that made it, and tell them to piss off you want your money back. Don't get a replacement, because that's just stupid. You know I mean, like, if, if they're putting stuff out brand new that's catching on fire, you probably need to find somebody else. But when you fly your stuff and you crash your stuff and you get it looking like this, no, no offense to this guy, I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to make a point here for everybody in general. Look, I want you to look. Look at, look at, all these grass stains, right? Now, grass isn't a bad deal. I get it. Grass is grass. I mean, like, you know, you crash in grass. Congratulations. I appreciate that. The problem is, is that there is a serious issue with people flying in the morning <clears throat> in grass that is damp and then shorting their stuff out. Now, do I think this is what happened here? Don't know yet. Just open it. But I noticed that when grass is stuck to a, <coughs> a frame, a lot of the times I have to ask myself, was this wet? Um, okay. So... I'm going to look at a few other things here, right? Here's something that has nothing to do with this catching on fire. This screw that's missing. Okay? And I mean, I swear to God, I just noticed it right now. Babe, babe, we, we opened the box. No, I mean, like, look, the damn screw's missing out of the bottom. I'm like, okay, so that screw holds all these things together. So, no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, where the screw didn't melt out. I, I can guarantee you, the screw, yeah. screw didn't melt out because it's going through the Tarsier... Uh, uh, aluminum holder, and there is there is uh, a. Let me see what else we got here. Oh, well, let's go through the Tarsier aluminum holder to begin with. So this, we know the screw didn't melt out, right? Um, I can also tell you that if I remove this tape here, right? Let me just move it more because I can see it right off the bat. We've had some impact with something hard because we've got scrapes against the against the carbon fiber right here, okay? But hey. Still, let's play this. The, the missing screw is, is going to be the part that gets you the worst, okay? So you have a missing screw. And, oh, HDLRC sold me a drone that caught on fire. No, no, they didn't. They sold you a drone that you flew. Harsh. Like most of us do. There's no offense to you, man, or woman, or whoever. And this is not just about this drone. I've got three of them lined up here that caught on fire. All different types, but the same stories. And I'm going, guys, I don't know if y'all go to one website and they're like, hey, look. Tell them this, this will get you a free one. Nah, that's not how it works. See, because it's my job, right? And I, I, <laughs> I keep my family fed by doing my job. So my job is to make sure that I do it right. 
I'm not here to be a yes man to you guys or HDLRC. I'm here to make sure I do my job right. All right, so we have a missing screw here, which happens to be the, the place. Okay, so what I want you to notice is there's the missing screw is the one place right here where it's clear all the, all the wires melted right off, okay? So let's just get more into this. Let's have some fun with it. Let's do it. We call those like autopsy things, like the crime shows. All right, so how did this person die? Well, hmm. What's that asphyxiation called, babe? <laughs> that, that they did on that, um, on that, uh, on the office, Michael Scott? <laughs> Ero erotic? This thing died from erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> hey, I was reading the news today, babe. There's a guy who put a speaker in his ceiling to, like, to, uh, you know, he was inspired by what they did, what Jim did. And yeah. um, he had it, it was a Bluetooth speaker, and he had it playing mouse noises. Yeah. It, it shut his work down, and they brought in the maintenance crew oh, no. to, find the, to, to find the cat, sorry, the cat noise, to find the cat noise. And once they found the speaker, the boss of the company wrote in and said, all right, I, you know, I'd like to know who did this, turn him in. And the people believed it was a conspiracy, like that they were being lied to, that they still believed there was a, a cat in the roof. And they said they couldn't find the cat, so they think the people planted the speaker there. <laughs> like, this dude hit it big. He's like, holy crap. It's like that post office guy. I remember that they had to call that. That's right. That's right. They're, oh, my God. Yeah, that's funny. Oh. All right. So, anyways, getting back to this. Um, so, now, look. I, all I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to call out the obvious because I really think that leaning on warranties for things that involve some user error is is just unfair all right i mean i i believe it well we got chips falling off the boards right now so let me just make sure to save these two that's my evidence oh and there's another screw all right and there's a screw and there's a screw and we're just going to reconstruct the whole damn thing and see what's up I'm gonna put all the dirty screws over here and i'll put the chip over there too why not all right so we have a crispy crispy board okay what the hell was that another piece flying off what is this Ooh, that looks pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's charcoal now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if the Zeus... Does the Zeus have a digital readout of its... Uh, no, no, it doesn't have broken VTX. Right? Okay, let's just keep going. Let's make a mess of my desk because it's... Look at this. Okay. So with the screw missing on this side, what I want to do is I want to check. Let me just get these off. I want all these wires off now, right? My video's already figured out which wires were loose. We got it, so or uh, melted off, and we got it. So this is not longer tampering with evidence. No dead bodies being messed with. All right, let's just get that out of the way. Get these nice melted props off. So I was flying with some uh, friends of mine, I know, hard to believe that I have friends or that I fly, but I was one morning, Sam, were you there when my drone caught on fire and I had to throw it on the ground? Yes. Yeah. And I built it. I also hit a um, field goal post um, while I was flying, and when I brought it back in, I unplugged my battery, didn't bother to check my drone out, plugged in a new battery, and the sucker caught a big fireball, all right? Um, it wasn't the drone's fault, it was my fault. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this here and see. Well, let's see what we got. All right, now the chip fell off. Oh, Sorry. take it easy over there. All right, we got wires from the receiver here. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect those. Those are still intact, but there's not even a burn mark around those. I don't know where we got those. Let's go ahead and take that off. Now, even if I say it's not HDLRC's fault, uh, HDLRC can overrule that and say, hey, look, we're going to give you a new drone anyway. But if I determine that it's not necessary to replace this drone, at least based on what I find, 
it has to go back to HCRC's uh, decision. I'll send them the video and send them my pictures and what I think. And I'll be honest with you, they overrule me, not because they don't agree with me, but because sometimes they're just like, look, it's whatever. Um, but lately we've seen an uptick in people just scamming. I mean, scamming, like, like trying to send in parts that they've already received refunds on. And then they're trying to get an RMA. God, it's just pathetic. So we're taking extra caution now to make sure, at least I am, and I've told them that's my stance on it. So, all right, where are we up here? This is nasty, nasty crap. Got one more motor to disconnect. Okay, that's all the motors, and I think we just have a VTX or two. Uh, this looks like crap. All right, so the capacitor's out and damaged. What the hell is this? Right, let me get this off. Okay. All right, so there's our board. Okay. And here is the side of the board that didn't have the screw. Okay. And here is where the XT60 goes the a positive of the X, XT60, okay? It's obliterated, all right? What that tells me is, without the screw, this board compressed, okay? Onto the carbon fiber, and it had the pieces compressed down, and if you look at the rest of the setup here, all right, what I wanna do is I wanna check and see if we're talking about this piece sitting here. And it compresses down. There's no screw holding. Are you, are you done? You want to bed? No. What are you doing? I'm trying to see this. Oh. <laughs> look at this shit. I mean, like, how does that happen? Like, who does that? Look at the ash. I mean, look, I mean, like, I know. <laughs> There's parts flying off left and right here. Yeah. But that, what? No, the gold is. I know, but that's the thing. You see, so he had, he had no screw here. Right? And so, with no screw, um, let me make sure. Let me show you here. One. Two, three, what the hell is this? Four, five, six, six. Is that what I counted? Six? Yeah, okay. So, uh, a regular, do we have an open sector down here? We don't, do we? Mm -hmm. All right, so a regular sector will have eight standoffs. Eight of these cheapy little foam silicone crap, okay? Uh, oh, here's another one. So seven. Yeah, that makes sense because I thought there was only one missing. All right. Um, I believe there was, and that's what I counted, was one missing when I checked it out. The one missing uh, would be uh, on this side where the screw is missing, which would mean that we're going to get contact pressing down. But this thing is obliterated. So it sits like this upside down, and this part is what made contact, and it burned the shit out of the whole thing. All right, so no, I don't believe that this is an HGLRC issue. I believe that the person, somehow the screw was missing, and I'll tell you, these screws, I don't see them just coming out, but it's missing. Uh, and I'm just gonna look for a few other things here. I can see on the board, right here, on the, on the, on the frame, right here, where I've got some issues. Okay, so let me circle that real quick. Uh, a cold drink, baby, if that's okay? Yeah. Right here, put an arrow right there. Okay, so I've got contact here. Um, I do have signs of a hard hit here. I don't have signs of a hard hit really anywhere else, though, so I won't say that this thing was uh, like flown, uh, like abused by any means. It doesn't look, it doesn't appear like it was. The arms don't look too scuffed. Nothing looks really scuffed, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't. Thanks, but it can't go like that because right? it's the water gets in there. Can I get in a cup? Yeah. Thanks, man. Um, so now let me look at the motors. Motors appear to be okay. Uh, I will probably spin them up here shortly just to make sure, but those look fine. Uh, the receiver actually looks fine. Doesn't look like anything on the, well, 
the VTX went to shit. I mean, that's that's it's charcoal. But look at the colors back here. They're fine back here. So I mean, we didn't get and the antenna's fine. That didn't get any discoloration at all. Uh, the wires actually stopped discoloring on the VTX right at um, uh, right at the uh, point where the uh, receiver and VTX uh, meet, so or are are, uh, are located. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here because none of these plastics burned, right? So none of the standoffs, none of the uh, uh, yeah, none of the standoffs here uh, burned. They don't even show a sign of being hot. I mean, there's literally no, there's no, there's nothing, right? So, um, that's good. All right. <sighs> Let's take this off. Let's look at what we got left. VTX looks good. I'm willing to bet that if I power this up, we turn on the, uh, let me turn this on. I, I, I'll bet that it comes on, but then again, um, I'm not sure how that go, but let's just see. All right. So I'll give it, oh, i got to drop this to five minutes, so hold on. All right, let's try this. So we'll go ground and power. Ground, and there's power, and there you go. So your VTX is still good. I'm not your VTX, I'm sorry, your receiver, your RX is still good. Okay, that shows to be fine. So we're going to just pull those antennas out. Look at that. They're not even touched. I mean, there's nothing. No signs of anything on here. So we're going to save this and bag this for this gentleman. Okay. This piece of plastic has no heat uh, melting. No melting, at least. Are you going to bed, babe? Mm -hmm. I'm just well, going inside. I don't have anything You're else. going inside. Yeah, you do. You got to hang out. You go inside, you're going to bed. No. That's great. Yeah, good night. I'm not. I'm waiting. Love you. Good. No, you're not. I'm not going to bed. Yes, you are. Good night. Love you. <laughs> Love you. I'm not okay. going to bed. Okay, yes, you are. Good night. Love you. <laughs> hey, you got to give me my RMAs that I have to do. They're in a pile right here. Well, can you, you got you to gotta stay awake and tell me. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're a team, right? Yeah, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, B, I'm B team, so I'm not in right now. Oh, your B team. A team. Me and B.A. Baracus. Thanks, babe, for ditching me. First Yeah. All right. So the BTX is coming out. Okay. Uh, not really any signs of anything. I mean, like it's a little dark, but it's not bad. So all right, with that, I'll try to power that up real quick and see as well. We can see, see if this thing at least turns on. Oh, you know what? It may cut out our video. So don't scratch that. I'm not going to do that. that over here for now. And then everything else is fine. All right. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say that we have the issue here. Uh, and I would say underneath, you can see, a, a, there's a, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. We've got here and here. This is our big horn areas right here. Actually, this is a bigger area. So if I take the board and look at this here, okay, this obliterated to, hmm. yeah, this board just doesn't do this, man. I'm, 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 I'm really, really, I'm really sorry. Uh, you know, I know. So I, I'm gonna have to say that. I mean, with the screw missing and some other stuff, yes, there's no doubt the thing caught on fire, but unfortunately. Um, I'm, I'm, I've got to say that this is, this is, this is an error on the pilot where you've flown it, uh, either you got it wet or something happened, but, uh, with screws missing and, and the board actually frying right where that screw, uh, would have been holding up with a, with a standoff. I, I don't know. Just, it's bad luck then for you, I guess, but I don't see how this is going to be something that you say is on the side of the manufacturer. It's not new. You flew it. Now. That's, I'm not saying that you did anything on purpose, but all right. So that's my findings. Um, based on this, I mean, I don't see any other reason to, I don't see anything else to say otherwise. Um, but self-combusting flight controllers that make no contact with anything for short is very rare. Um, I've seen, I've done a lot of these quads a lot, a lot more than I think most people ever will because I do all the RMAs and I'm going to tell you right now, I got no reason to lie. I don't get paid to do this do this because I enjoy it so uh, telling you that it was HLC's fault or not makes no difference to me uh, but what I can tell you 
is that I don't see anything here that says it was on their side. Uh, not right now. Okay. So I'm just going to take the motors off and put these parts together and report back to HCLRC. Um, and I hope you understand that no hard feelings on this one. You can't be mad at me for telling you my opinion. Uh, that's, but I'm sure HLRC will also take into consideration, you know, you being a customer and blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, guys. Listen, that's it. I'm going to stop this one because I got like eight more to do before I go to sleep tonight. So let me, um, let me do this. Boom, 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 boom. There. All right. So um, that pretty much, that, I, I've got, I'm getting more and more things like this. Uh, and, 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 you know, and it sucks because it's like anything else, man. You, you know, you start seeing people, and, and not saying this guy did by any means, but you start seeing people like the ones we just caught. I mean, we literally caught them, okay, lying and trying to, uh, and it's a, it's a simple story. I mean, uh, you know, and believe it or not, um, uh, it's a customer from Race Day Quad, and uh, I, uh, and I'm going to say how it, how it happened. I mean, those poor guys, Race Day Quad, uh, gave a guy his money back, and then the guy decides to ride us for an RMA. I guess they didn't ask him for the part back. You know, it's probably not worth it for them to just ship it back or whatever, but they credited him back. They gave him back his money, and then he opens up an R RMA, and I'm like, man, something doesn't make sense because I asked him to send me something to do with the part and the purchase receipt. There's something weird about it. I don't know what it is that flagged it, but I said, hey, um, I need to call you on the phone. So I call him on the phone. I'm like, listen, man, you got to explain this to me. Uh, something's not making sense. And before I said anything, I was going, oh, well, listen, man, i got to tell you, honestly, I already got my money back. I just want to see if I get the part, too. And I'm like, man, that's some, that's some crap right there. So it's because of people like that. So I called Mario at Race Day Quads. I said, look, man, look, <laughs> you know, this is me from Cycle and FPV. I'm not really care about whether... We all see eye to eye on stuff or not. What I do care about is that y'all don't get screwed by your customers, and I care that we don't get screwed by customers. So I think we should stay in touch. And, and sure enough, about a week later, there's another person. So um, I think at the end of the day, you know, you start to see these cons come out of the woodwork trying to trying to screw the system. And I, I'll tell you what, man. H and I've said it very clearly. HCLRC can tell me to stop doing the work before I ever give any crap like that. That pisses me off. And they've actually been very supportive of it because they don't want to get screwed either. So, uh, not that this happened in this case, but I'm just telling you, that's why we're more cautious. All right, anyways, that's enough rambling. Listen, it is, uh, it is uh, almost midnight, and uh, I had to say goodbye to my kids. So, it's one of those days where I'm just going to sit up all night and work. Uh, but listen, if you guys, if you're around your families, please go spend time with them. Give them a big hug, give them a big kiss, and just tell them how much you love them. You never know how much time you'll have with them, guys, to so make most of it, okay? Always got time to fly. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe, please. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. All right? And we'll talk to you soon. Other than that, peace.